hello guys welcome back to the video hope you all are doing good so in today's video we are going to see how to fix boot device related issues on your laptop or desktop so if you are facing any kind of boot device related issues or your hard drive related issues on your laptop for example you can see i am using hp laptop and i am getting this kind of error boot device not found so in this video I will share a complete step by step methods you can apply to fix this boot device not uh, found related issues. So let's start the video. First, press and hold the power key and shut down your laptop first. Okay. Now you have to open the BIOS settings in your laptop. So I'm using a HP laptop. So in HP laptop, you can use this skip key. You can see this skip key or you can press this F10 key to open your BIOS menu. So you can either use escape key or you can use F10 key to open the BIOS menu. But in some laptop, you have to press and hold the Fn key and then press escape key to open the BIOS menu. Same as for F10 key. Okay. So in some laptop, you have to uh, use this uh, Fn key as well. So in my laptop, I don't uh, need to use this Fn key. I will directly open the BIOS settings uh, with this escape key or F10 key. I will show you how to do it. So I will power on my, power on my laptop and within a second I will start pressing this escape key. Okay. If you see this kind of hardware diagnosing screen, exit this. Okay. Like this. Now this will show you this kind of screen. I will try to zoom it. Okay. So here you can see this is the setup menu. So you can use the F10 key for bio setup. So I will, what I will do is I will press the down arrow key and I will select this option bio setup. Press enter and this will open the BIOS menu in HP laptop. Now what you have to do is just go to this advanced tab click on this advanced tab now here i will just zoom it now you can see the menu clearly so first, uh, first go to this advanced tab then click on this boot option okay so this is the boot options now you have to scroll down and then select or tick this legacy boot order so you have to first enable legacy boot order tick this option okay after that you have to shift your hard drive at the top so for example go to this uefi boot order select your hard drive so you can see this is my hard drive this is the ssd 250 gb hard drive which i am using in my laptop so my hard drive is showing in my laptop so that means there is no hardware issue. So first select your hard drive. Now press up arrow key to move your lap, uh, hard drive to the top. Then press enter. Then press escape key to go back. So this will move your hard drive at the top. Do the same thing in legacy boot order. Select your hard drive. Press up arrow key to move your hard drive to the top. Then press enter, then press skip key to go back. So this is how you can do it. So first, uh, what you have to do is you have to enable a legacy boot order. After that, you have to uh, move your hard drive to the top in both legacy and UEFI mode. Okay. Now click on save to save the changes. Click on yes. After that, go back to the main menu, then click on this option, save changes and exit, click on yes. So you have to just enable the legacy boot order. This will fix the error. But if you don't have the legacy boot order option or uh, if this is not working, move on to the next step, the next method you can try. So first I will shut down my laptop. Wait a minute. As you can see the issue has been resolved. 
but if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next step so i will shut down my laptop first now you have to open the bios again so what i will do is i will turn on my laptop i will turn on my laptop and press the escape key to open the bios menu now press the down arrow key and select boot option press enter now so if you don't have the legacy boot order you can apply the second method so open the bios menu and after that search for this option apply factory default so search for apply factory default or apply a load default setting okay so click on this option apply factory default so this will uh, set your uh, bios setting in the default mode so press this option click on yes so this will also help you to fix this uh, boot device not found error but if you are still getting the same issue now move on to the next method you can try is diagnose your hard drive so i will first turn off my laptop okay now in this method we are going to diagnose our laptop hard drive so first turn off your laptop and after that uh, you have to press f2 key to open the diagnose mode so in your laptop you have to press this f2 key to open the diagnose mode i will show you how to do it so turn on your laptop and within a second start pressing the f2 key this will open the diagnose mode so this is the diagnose mode now here you can see these are the option memory test and hard drive check so press the down arrow key then select this option hard drive check then press enter now you have two options quick or extensive select the extensive check press enter so this will check your hard drive or wait for a few minutes this will show you the result so as you can see here the result smart check pass so uh, this found a drive so my hard drive is showing and it is pass that means uh, there is no hardware issue in my laptop but if you see the result zero or in smart check you will see uh, none or blank in that case that means uh, the issue with your hard drive now i will show you how to check your hard drive physically so what you have to do is shut down your laptop and now we are going to uh, try to repair our hard drive so first i will shut down my laptop so this is my laptop so first i will open my laptop from back side and repair my hard drive so i will open the back panel of my laptop remove the back panel now you can see this is my hard drive so take your hard drive out now what you have to do is uh, you have to take a brush okay and remove the dust from this hard drive port okay after that uh, you have to clean your hard drive so you uh, you can see these golden plates so you have to take a rubber a eraser and clean your hard drive okay if there is any carbon or any kind of dust clean it uh, with the help of a eraser don't use any liquid so clean your hard drive with the eraser like this okay so in the most cases this task will uh, this method will fix your hard drive issues if your hard drive is not detecting or not showing in your laptop okay so rub your hard drive that's it clean your hard drive connect your 
hard drive in your laptop and try but if you are still getting the same issue your hard drive is not showing in your laptop in that case what you have to do is uh, you can uh, use a hard drive casing okay i will show you this kind of hard drive casing so this will help you to take the data backup of your hard drive so you can use this hard disk casing and you can connect your hard drive with that uh, like this okay connect your hard drive and this is a usb connector so you have to connect your hard drive with this hard disk casing and after that connect this uh, laptop with another pc and take the data backup of your uh, laptop uh, app of your hard drive okay so you can use this hard disk casing as well to take the data backup of your uh, hard drive now move on to the next method uh, if you are still getting the uh, same error boot device not found so if your hard drive is showing in your laptop but if and you are still getting the same issue your hard drive is showing in your laptop but you are still getting this uh, boot device not found issue in that case you have to install a new os in your laptop so i already created a video how to install a windows 10 or windows 11 i will put uh, the video link in the description box you can check that video as well if your hard drive is showing and it is not uh, booting so these are the few methods uh, you can apply to fix boot device not found issue on your laptop this is all for the video thank you